Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Shin Mizukoshi from the University of Tokyo. Uh, the organizer asked to the keynote, keynote speakers to use the slides up to five. And I, very serious Japanese, try to make that in five, but uh, cannot. And, uh, but I try to make uh, very uh, 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 short slides. And, but uh, I did a very radical thing that I changed the topic in this morning, so uh, not serious. And uh, I am, at this first time, uh, try to present uh, some case studies about the classroom in Japan using the mobile. Uh, it's my big, big uh, university class with uh, about 300 uh, gra first graders. The title is Media Literacy. It's very boring, uh, big class, and I try to use a mobile. And uh, that's the uh, form of my uh, presentation. But I, in this morning, I changed my mind. Because uh, during this two, two, two days staying here, I understand the cultural context of American how shall I say, difficulties and also the situation of the mobile in the United States. So I changed from the classroom to the, how shall I say, community learning or uh, neighborhood communities uh, uh, activity uh, encouraged by the mobile which is another project of ours. Um, uh, many of you uh, enjoy the very high-speed presentation of Tommy Ahonen in the previous uh, session. And uh, you know, uh, he, uh, what he gave us is a very cutting edge uh, uh, services and technologies, but uh, when I did a session with him uh, two days ago in the Japan Society, I found that almost all the cutting edge uh, services or technology are already uh, implemented in Japan and uh, saturated. And uh, so I think, uh, uh, generally speaking or roughly speaking, in Japan, at least the mo in the mobile usage of the, or the cultures, uh, uh, Japan is uh, proceeding to the United States. It's not advantaging, but uh, proceeding. And uh, there are many difficulties in Japan. Uh, it's you know, because of very saturated high-speed uh, connection to the internet by mobile or the uh, fabulous services, uh, we feel a very melancholic or a very critical uh, feeling even among the you know, general people. And one thing is that uh, kind of the a uh, very contradictory situation of the media discourses. Uh, on one side, uh, they are trumpeting that uh, rosy and that very fashionable uh, 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 mobile industry's future, and it's very techno or driven ones. And but at the same time, the people who are uh, you know uh, receiving such kind of the information in a very positive way said to the their kids that ban out the usage of the mobile, and you don't need, need to use this kind of thing, and this is a kind of this, a, uh, incubation for the climb or something like that. So things are very, uh, you know, how shall I say, tore up. And we are living in the kind of the media discourse space, which is a, a ton of this kind of the contradiction uh, media uh, discourse about the mobile. And the other thing is that because of the very uh, proceeding and advanced advanced technology in Japan, there is also a very clear so-called digital divide. And uh, in Japan, the internet connected service was uh, launched in 1999. And uh, around 2004 to five, one of my friend, uh, and there are several, uh, several uh, surveys, but one of my friend examined that the nationwide uh, survey about the users and they found that the, well, well, there are several similar uh, researches, but the same uh, uh, result that the, in 2004 to five, at those age, about a 20 to 30 percent of the old Japanese use the internet only via mobile. It, you know, it's it's very hard to uh, explain to other countries person in those days uh, because of my English I mistook, and uh, cause uh, this is a. You know, in some way, this is a very rosy techno-driven situation, isn't it? Because 20 or 30 percent of the people not use a very heavy PC, but use a mobile, and that's favorite thing. But the reality is different, because the, those 20 to 30 people are 
first living in a rural area and low educated and low income. And uh, so it's, uh, in some way, it's a street corner machine, street corner multimedia for uh, lower people, uh, rural people, or, you know, those kind of people. So it's very contradictory, you know. The, in one way, it's very high cutting edge mobile in five or six years ago in this situation. But the people use those kind of things, uh, uh, divided people. And we, general people, understand something about this kind of things and, uh, under, under the very Disneyland-like, lousy, you know, mobile society. And the third thing is a fundamental question. It's mainly for the, for the researchers. What the, what, what the mobile media is, it's very hard to examine. Uh, one is uh, because this is a, a words of the Marshall McLuhan that the uh, mobile is like TV or radio. Uh, more than that, it's like a water for fish. And we take for granted uh, this kind of things. And, uh, and the plus, it's uh, full of banality. You know, it's very boring things. If we got some new services uh, in three months or so, we are very natural with those uh, technologies. So it's a very banal thing or so something like that. And so it's very hard to de-familiarize, to keep the distance, to think mobile medium um, from the different way or analytical way. And uh, it's under the saturated me media discourse that make the things very complicated thing. And in Japan, the, there are mainly four areas which are, you know, uh, are engaging in the study of the me, uh, uh, mobile uh, media. One is uh, educational technology or uh, media education. And what they found uh, easily is that uh, using only mobile is sometimes nothing. You know, sh they try to make the very multi-connected situation uh, from the paper, you know, gathering, meeting, physical space, or the internet itself, or the encyclopedia, or the, you know, mobiles. In, in those mixed uh, situations, mobile has something as an advantage too. And uh, yes, popular culture studies are also a very important thing, and the media studies is, is fine. And media, media literacy is uh, confronting a very fundamental, you know, problem that the, if there is a mobile media literacy, and here is a television media literacy, and here is a newspaper media literacy, what's going on? So we have to reconceptualize the uh, uh, world, which uh, the media literacy, which uh, was uh, very much developed in the mass media era. And for this kind of very complicated situation, uh, we launched the project titled Media Exprimo, in, to, uh, in the October of 2006. And it's, it is uh, funded from the JST, Japan Science and Technology, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's uh, equivalent to NSF in the United States. And uh, uh, I am joining this one uh, with, among the information designer and uh, artificial intelligence uh, engineers and the interface and the SNS engineers. And we are doing the uh, uh, kind of the media studies with a very design-minded one. And what we are thinking were together with uh, AI engineer and designer and others, uh, the, 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 this, this figure that the Yes, uh, the, the saturated mobile situation in Japan, the private and intimate communication sphere are very much developing. And also, uh, there is from the ringtone service to the AR services, every kind of the very commercial services are uh, flourished. And, but how about the middle? Uh, I, we believe that there must be some public usage of mobile media or kind of the communal communication sphere uh, via mobile. But uh, there are few or scattered. And we should, uh, you know, uh, empower or encourage uh, those kind of things from a very grassroots or bottom-up way, which we uh, title as a media biotope strategy. And uh, we make a kind of the common sense with this kind of uh, figure and try to connect these false uh, tech sectors people to do a interdisciplinary or cross-cultural communication like a, a project for fi about five years. And from now on, 
I will show you two, uh, you know, case or cases or uh, two projects under this media exprimo, which I have been engaging. And we are trying to uh, use a, a very uh, classic uh, play style in Japan to connect to the uh, mobile or digital uh, activities. Uh, one uh, case is uh, titled as Aiueo Gabun. Uh, Aiueo is a uh, one syllabatory group of the modern Japanese language, and it's 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 very different, but it's like A B C D. And ga means a uh, picture, and boom means a uh, text. So it's a picture and uh, uh, text messages which are uh, 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 connected and uh, make a kind of the uh, poet-like uh, uh, sentences. And so I will show you, it's, it's, it's very small, so I will show you in this way. Um, so my research, I, I and my grad school student try to, uh, you know, uh, translate it in, into English, and it's very hard, but uh, uh, this is a studium, and I play for the other eternal love at the Yoshi Yushima Tenjin Temple Shrine, an unforgettable first date in the Kolakuen Garden. And every time I remember him when I pass through Otsuka Station where I met him. Um, so this kind of uh, you know, poet-like things, we ask to the uh, uh, neighborhood people to uh, make together. I will show you a uh, uh, short slide show. It was uh, held in uh, Bunkyoku, which is a ba uh, very neighborhood community of the University of Tokyo. We asked to the general people, including young and uh, senior, to get together to bring their uh, nice uh, photographs, mainly taken by uh, mobiles, and try to discuss and uh, make that Aiyueo Gabun. And during that time, uh, they share the, you know, kind of the memories. When one uh, bring a very private uh, pictures taken by mobile, and there is something, uh, background, which is not important for him, but that background, say, shop is uh, my uncle's uh, sister's uh, former house or something like happened. And they talk in that way in this situation and try to share the memory, which uh, bear the a uh, very personal uh, uh, portrait or uh, picture-like things uh, by the uh, mobiles. And, uh, yes, we put this kind of the uh, uh, poster-like thing to the public space, and this is old uh, pictures, which, which was first taken as a, uh, old-fashioned pictures, and that was uh, copied by the uh, mobile photographs. And, uh, you know, th there is some uh, uh, comments on, on that, on the public space, that, uh, oh, here is me, <laughs> or who is you, or something like that. It's, they happen to see his uh, half a century ago's uh, picture, or something like that, and uh, put this kind of thing. And it's very, uh, 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 you know, nice opportunity. And what we've done uh, with this kind of very small workshop is that uh, when, uh, if this is a workshop, uh, we ask to the University of Tokyo and the Bunkyo, Bunkyo World and also to the cable telev uh, television and to collaborate each other and all the circle movement people mainly occupied by senior and uh, uh, street shops to join this kind of things. And we made a weekly program on the cable TV and also the website, and someone can directly uh, uh, you know, put the uh, text and the uh, 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 picture via mobile to the website, and also they can mail it to the uh, Bunkyo Award or something like that. And we make this kind of this, uh, uh, connection between the school, world, university, and cable TV, and the website, and every kind of things. 
And uh, uh, it's not so successful from my understanding, but uh, cable TV or school are very happy with this kind of things because uh, it's very simple. Just use a mobile and make a, taking the picture and putting some text is a very daily banal uh, behavior. But when we make this kind of design, uh, it makes something different from just taking a picture and put that into the small uh, mobile. But uh, mobile turn to a, a kind of a communal machine and to uh, encourage the bond, bonding of the, this very urbanized area. Everyone is scattered, but uh, try to uh, bonding uh, by this uh, IEO government is, well, uh, so so, but uh, those sectors people are very much uh, happy with this kind of things. And so we are happy to uh, continue this one at least one year or two years. And we have been doing uh, the workshop in a very short uh, way, but nowadays we can do a kind of the social experiment for one or two years in this uh, district. And the second one I can uh, show you is uh, Media Conte. Uh, this is an interactive digital storytelling project. Um, many of you uh, uh, know the activity of the uh, uh, storytelling, uh, digital storytelling project, which uh, uh, first launched in the West Coast in early 90s and they developed uh, all over the world now. And in this uh, uh, activity, we also use the mobile and also uh, ask to the young university student to, you know, may, uh, uh, take a role like the editor uh, to ask to or digging in the uh, senior people or labor. Uh, foreign labor, laborers, uh, son or daughters, or handicapped people to, who are kind of the, uh, marginal or persons to have the voice and uh, uh, make a two or three minutes slideshow with their comments and put that to the uh, local cable TV or local commercial stations uh, programs. And what they are focusing on is uh, pre, pre stories stages. And in the digital storytelling uh, activities, they said that the, everyone has something to tell. But uh, shy Japanese don't have such kind of, you know, uh, stories. And uh, so they try to use a game-like thing, card game-like thing, and uh, digging in their very fragmented uh, daily experience, uh, exper uh, experience or the kind of the fragmented trivial uh, matters and try to connect each other and to make the uh, stories. And I think this is not only the shy Japanese, but all the people who had the uh, story is constructed and protected from something. And we can uh, rigidize the story and uh, uh, crystallize the story. And we can, if we can do such kind of thing, things in a very free way, that's very uh, wonderful things. And we, in this one, also we ask to the community organization and the university and uh, announce to the public and also to the local media and connect each other. And this is one which I participate in as a driver because uh, these people need to drive to the place where, where is memorable. And uh, they are discussing each other. And uh, this is a kind of the, it's, it's very hard for people to talk their very private things or, you know, uh, if they, they don't have the uh, story which they can tell to the public, uh, it's very hard. So we use uh, some card with uh, some, something. Uh, my, 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 our family is a dinner or uh, the way to the school or uh, what is troublesome. And around such kind of card, they uh, start to talk and put this kind of the ideas and make a kind of a story. And this 75-year-old uh, person tried to uh, bring us to the, his memorable place, but there is nothing but the flower and very beautiful uh, 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 things. But here must be his former house and talking about that. And they are discussing each other and make this kind of things. And, uh, 
Yes, uh, we use a kind of the uh, iPhone with uh, some application, which is now on the uh, iPhone application uh, with a public share. Uh, it's, uh, she's uh, doing the narration uh, according to the slideshow. And uh, in that uh, 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 iPhone, uh, there is a special application that uh, uh, when we go to some place, uh, not only the geotag, that, but that they can put their messages. And so they use this kind of the devices also. Um, I, I will sh show you very shortly about the some stories. First one is a by the. Ojichan, genki des. Rokuzugo saigurai des. Nihondekitekara,でありました。などで本当の家族ではありません。このおじいちゃん、日本の学校へ行くことを勧めてくれました。いつも私たちのことを心配してくれます。おじいちゃんは私に日本語を教えてくれます。代わりに私はポルトガ
and also put that on the website, and they can see that uh, via television or PC or the uh, public theater in the museum or uh, the library, and also on the mobile. But nobody, the aged people use the mobile in this, uh, for the viewing. Um, So the last part of my presentation is uh, okay. Well, do, during doing this kind of activities, we again found that the mobile is very important, and uh, some t in in some condition, it's very nice, uh, you know, devices for the people to. Uh, make their own voice or uh, expression. But uh, still, we need a very subtle programs, uh, including the net or the analog uh, uh, situation or something like that. And only mobile is sometimes uh, very uh, rejective for the senior people or, uh, uh, you know, divided people. And, uh, uh, well, uh, when thinking about the mobile media literacy, uh, many people are thinking about uh, how to use mobile for learning. And, uh, you know, learning by mobile media is a big issue. But from the standpoint of the media literacy, we think learning about the mobile media is also very important. And that's the essence of the media literacy, I think. And the learning about mobile media needs the uh, ability to de-familiarize the, what the mobile media is. And uh, also, uh, we need to uh, examine that the mobile as a material object, not only the transmitting machine. And uh, they put many accessories to the uh, mobile, or uh, mobile is with our physical body, and our body is situated in some physical space. And this kind of the relation is very important, not only focusing on the internal world or online world of the mobile, but thinking about the external objective or materiality or space or body. And uh, also, it's very hard. Oh, there is no you know, uh, information sender and receiver uh, like the television in mobile. But when thinking about the infrastructure or the architecture of the software, uh, or the hardware, or the industrial context. I think we have to examine the, uh, those kind of things, not only from the political economy's perspective, but from the standpoint of the media literacy. And it's very hard for us, but uh, we should have the, some imagination to uh, think about the alternative possible form of mobile. When Nam Jun Paik, the media artist, used the uh, video, in a very alternative way, uh, uh, it's a, it's, it, it became the art. Um, but most of the people, uh, uh, it's very hard to familiarize the, the usage at that day's television. And, but uh, nowadays, for us to think about the alternative possible form of the mobile. And uh, then, at that point, I, 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 I am using the words communal keitai. Keitai is, Jap uh, in Japanese, the mobile. Uh, uh, mobile is in Japanese, but uh, you know, Keitai, mobile is a personal thing, very extremely personal thing. But how to use that among the communal or you know, uh, 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 public uh, uh, situation? That's the most important alternative possible form for thinking about. And via that kind of the awareness, uh, we can uh, move uh, or develop or step up to the uh, uh, from the media literacy to the media community building, I think. Um, as you know, uh, in Japan, they suffer the, uh, the March 11, the very big uh, earthquake and the tsunami. And uh, nowadays, uh, very calm and regimented and the serious Japanese people suddenly aware that the government or uh, Tokyo, the metropolitan oriented mass media did a very, very, you know, old fashioned and a very uh, misinformation and we have to be critical. And there are many citizen oriented activities for, uh, for example, the memory salvage album is because, uh, you know, when tsunami came and what the uh, residents try to find first is the uh, 
kind of the portable, uh, portable Buddhism uh, grave-like things. There is a kind of the portable tablet-like things in, in every house, and uh, they try to find it. And the, other, the second priority is the pictures or albums. All are under the soil or the very dirty, and they try to wash it and digitalize. And now that, that album project, uh, that memory survey, uh, survey album project co uh, uh, collected uh, 200 and, uh, 250,000 pictures, and uh, too many. And how to bring back the people is very hard project. But uh, anyhow, these uh, are, you know, uh, narrative about their memory or something like that are going on. And uh, uh, yesterday, I found my, one of my best uh, friend and uh, colleague of the information uh, designer tried to make a DIY workshop to make the Geiger counter with iPhone and uh, I don't know why, but the Frisk's, Frisk's case. And it's, it must be out, out or some something. And uh, it, this kind of the DIY activities are uh, also very uh, active. But there is a big information gap between the, uh, you know, uh, west part and the east part. And uh, what our project is now going on is, uh, in this stage, uh, we are going to do this kind of the digital storytelling activities, first in uh, Fukushima. Oh, sorry, it's, it's not December. It's early in November. And I also do the driver role at that time. And uh, early next year, we will do the same thing at the most uh, damaged uh, tsunamis place in Sendai in Miyagi Prefecture. And I know we are researchers, but we have to be very careful that the memory or picture or this kind of thing is very sensitive. And we, we, we should not be in a hurry. But f fortunately, they offered us to do this kind of things. And uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, we are trying to uh, investigate the possibility and the limitation to imagine the alternative and possible form of the media, mobiles, uh, do, uh, uh, to do the implementation of this kind of the activities. Thank you very much.